We all know I love a good budget build challenge in The Sims 4. I always try to do these when new packs come out because I feel like it's really helpful to have a starter home using all of the new stuff. Not even just for me, but also for you in case you buy the pack and want to have a house to just start playing in immediately. This is all good and fine with most Sims packs, but with our newest one, I think I might actually struggle a lot. The challenge here is to make a starter home for a very fancy home chef using all of the new stuff from the Home Chef Hustle pack. So this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than usual because all of the things in that pack are really expensive. The stove is like 3,000 simoleons, so that's basically half our budget gone. Also, I should warn you, I've got cats on the loose in this room right now. So I'm sorry, just maybe ignore it. They're, they're kittens and they're running back and forth in circles around this room right now. Oh, okay. You may also have to ignore this. I, um, I was trying to speed through a few days so I could get the modern developments in this eco-lifestyle world, and um, Eliza Pancakes got struck by lightning like three or four times while I was doing doing it. It's fine. It's fine. She's gonna get a new house. It'll be okay. She's not dead. And look at how pretty the neighborhood looks. It was worth it. I guess easy for me to say because I wasn't the one who got struck by lightning. But anyway, let's talk about budget for a second. So we obviously have 20,000 simoleons. That's the default cost of a starter home. And the kitchen set isn't even really obscenely expensive. The counters, for example, are 280 simoleons. That's actually cheaper than these ones that I use all the time from the base game. It's all sort of like mid-tier pricey. It's kind of right in the middle of the build catalog. And actually the fridge and stove are really nice. It's got food quality seven compared to the one next to it that only has food quality six. It's it's just 3,250 simoleons. The fridge is 2,300 simoleons. So just buying those two things is more money than I would usually spend on an entire kitchen in a starter home. And we don't have anything else to work with. So this is gonna have to be a really small house. Honestly, probably a tiny house. Did the kittens knock over that pillow a long time ago? Here is the culprit, by the way, if you see or hear hear any cats. This is the problem. Oh, okay. You can go. I'm sorry. I was just trying to show you off on YouTube. And actually, before I get too far into this build, I want to tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. I got a new monitor recently, and I wanted to give you all a little bit of an update after some extended use, because the last time we talked about this, I was actively opening it and setting it up. So I've been using the 57-inch Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. This is the world's first dual 4K UHD monitor. And as you can see, it is a huge monitor. It's got a super wide 57 inch 1000 R curved screen and 4k display with 140 PPI. I've been messing around with playing the Sims on it full screen and it looks so cool. I play it in windowed mode normally because I've got so many other things that I need to have open when I'm recording, but it is really cool to see what it looks like when it's wide like that because you can see so much of the world. I'm used to having multiple monitors and like all these cables and just kind of mess on my desk. So having just this one beautiful stunning monitor is so such an upgrade in so many ways for me. My games look amazing on this screen. I always think The Sims 4 looks beautiful, but having such an upgraded visual quality on this monitor has been a game changer. It's also really bright. It's got 1000 nit peak brightness through the power of VESA display, HDR 1000, and quantum matrix technology. And I obviously need that 240 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time to play my high intensity video games like um, Stardew Valley. <laughs> Jokes aside, thanks to things like AMD FreeSync technology, it is a really, really really fast monitor and it's great for playing games. So if you would like to check out the 57 inch Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, I'm gonna have some more information linked down below for you. Thank you again to Samsung for sponsoring this video. Samsung is kind of like a dream brand for me to work with. I almost can't believe that they know who I am. I'm just a little Sims girl with a fancy big new monitor, but this has been really cool. So thank you again and make sure you check out those links down below. And with that, let's go ahead and get back into the Sims. All right, let's start thinking about this because I have not really considered what the house is going to look like. I've kind of only thought about the kitchen. I realize this is so plain looking. Like, I totally understand this is so ridiculous, but this might actually not be bad. I don't think that I can make it that much bigger than this either, so this might be a good starting point for us. Oh no, it's too big. It's too big. Wait, make it smaller on all sides. I don't know if this world is the best spot for this house anymore, but it's just, it's so cute, so maybe it's fine. No, I've changed my mind again. I don't know. I don't know what I want. What about some sort of L-shaped thing? Thing. This kind of has potential because maybe the bedroom could be back here. Well, that's maybe a little big. It could be smaller, but the bedroom
room could be here. This will be the bathroom. And then, um, oh God, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could have the kitchen kind of in the back like this. So the kitchen could go along these walls and then this will be the living space, maybe. Okay, that, honestly, that has potential. We could even have a really cute little back patio or something. This is not gonna be a tiny house anymore, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna use too many pieces. I'm probably gonna have platforms up here. What do we think about the roof being kind of like this? Cause I honestly feel like that's sort of interesting. Maybe we could put a platform in the back. Oh, that looks weird. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, this complicates things in the back, actually. What if we did something like this where I just had it go all the way across? Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, something like that where I have it go all the way across. There's kind of a weird overlap right here, but we can just ignore that. All right, now let's start actually trying to furnish this. We need to be very careful about the money we're spending. Normally I would put a million likes down. We can't do that right now. I'm also trying to keep this just base game and the new pack, which is gonna kind of complicate the price a little bit as well. I think I'll start by just buying some filler furniture. I'd love to have a table and like two chairs. Doesn't need to be that fancy. I, I just want something very simple. We can get the cheapest bathroom stuff, but just place it now so we don't run out of money. Cheapest bed. Maybe if we're lucky, we can have a dresser. This thing's only 439. Maybe a couch and a coffee table and a very small table. TV. You know, we actually have a lot of money. Obviously, I haven't decorated the kitchen yet, but we're not doing too bad. I always like to use these windows and kind of stack them like this in the bathrooms, but I don't know if we can afford that here. This one's only 65. Oh, maybe I will use- th oh, hello? They're playing with a box. Actually, the box of the monitor, if I'm being completely honest with you. Yeah, we'll get a little sliding glass door to this back patio. The door is kind of expensive, but it's only 140. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like these and be like 485. Well, never mind. This door is kind of expensive. This is 445, but it's worth it. Now it's the fun part because we can start putting in the counters. I really, really should be careful about this, I know, but I just, I kind of want to go all out. I probably won't buy a dishwasher because that is sort of an unnecessary expense. Oh, <gasps> 750! Oh my god, no, we can have a waffle maker, but we can't have a stand mixer. That's too much. <laughs> this is only 280. Oh my god, this is where it gets bad. The upper cabinets are so expensive. Maybe we could just use a little bit of open shelving. The problem is is with the open shelving, I can't really afford to put stuff on the shelves. Maybe we could only have cabinets on this wall and we could put a window above the oven. Is that weird? I feel like that's kind of unrealistic, but I don't know. Does it matter? It's The Sims 4. It's not exactly known for its realism. Well, you know what? This actually came together quite well. Obviously we're not done yet, but I thought that I was gonna have a harder time affording things than this. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm gonna start working on some stuff on the exterior because I wanna have like a roof on top of this. I'd like to have a light outside, you know, all of those sorts of things. The other one got on my desk herself. Sunny, you asked for this. If you jumped up, then you have to be held. That's that's just the rules, I'm sorry. Maybe I won't cover the back completely, but I could put something small, like a little platform to cover where the door is. I think I would like to have a fence of some sort in this backyard area. It doesn't need to be a lot, just something- Oh, 364! Oh, doesn't that seem really excessive to you? This one's kind of cute and small. We are gonna have to do debug landscaping because we cannot afford real plants. Okay, this is kind of a weird thought that I just had, but what if I use this pink roof? It's kind of like a pinky reddish color. I've never used it before, but it's kind of cool. And we can add some little things like this fence in just for a little bit more decor. I'm breaking out the debug right now because I want to put some landscaping in. There's actually a very specific thing that I want to use. I'm thinking about getting these little stone pathways. Maybe not the rectangle ones, but there's like a little square one. And I wonder if we could size that up and use it to make a fake walkway going up to the house. I'm gonna need to alt place these just a little bit, but that looks cool, right? And then we have a good spot to put the mailbox. Maybe I'll use this mailbox instead. Mailboxes are a thing that you can upgrade and change for free, so we should take advantage of that. I'm sorry, I can't get over Eliza just standing there like that. It's kind of making the video, the fact that she was burned by a lightning strike. Anyway, I'm gonna put, I think, a little bit of wood paneling on this roof section right here. I'm looking around a little bit because I think I'd like to use some similar landscaping to what they have out here. Obviously, 
obviously I don't have to do that, but like we have these same debug bushes. I may as well use them. Oh, and look, I could get rid of one of these windows. They're above the bushes anyway. This is good, honestly, because it helps to fill in the sides of the building. It also takes up exactly one tile, which is so nice. If this were any other build, I would put half walls or fences or something around that, but this is not any other build. This is a starter home challenge and I can't afford fences. In fact, buying this fence was probably a bit of a stretch. Oh, before I forget, I should probably pick some flooring everywhere. I'm almost definitely gonna change this, but it helps to just buy it because then we know that we've paid for it already. I don't know what the walls are gonna look like. Probably not this brick because that looks a little bit weird, but at least it's something. So that way, again, it's paid for. <laughs> the base game debug trees are ugly. Oh no. Oh, what if I got a carport? Oh my God, this might be, this might be the way. I think I'm onto something here. We are gonna have to pay for some trim and maybe some columns, but that's okay. Oh no, this is maybe a mistake. <laughs> I, I may have made a mistake. Make it smaller. Oh, the fence is pricey, but it does look cool. I can have this right up against the edge of the lot. That saves a bit of money. Oh, I got eight simoleons back. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, that does give us a spot to put the trash can. And then having a car there, obviously a fake car, <laughs> but having something there also makes the place look a little bit more interesting because otherwise the outside is going to be so empty. Oh, well this bush fits perfectly right there. That actually looks good somehow. And we do have those same pink flowers in debug that they've got around in the world. The problem is it's like a slightly different shade of pink than the roof. So I don't know. This, this might be kind of ugly. I guess I don't really know what I'm doing. Maybe just plain stucco is better on the outside of the house because the brick looks really weird to me. I don't think that it's good. Oh, I would love to use a fancier wood floor inside. I'm, I'm gonna get back to the inside. I'm trying to figure out the outside first. I need to stop. The base game has a couple cute debug trees. We've got these nice little leaning trees. <laughs> Why is it leaning so far over? Can I scoot this? It's blocking the whole pathway. <laughs> it needs to be taller than that. Oh God. There's always these as well, but they just seem kind of tall. Should I go small like this? Yeah, I think in this case, a little bit smaller looks better. Sorry, Eliza. I, I know I'm getting a little bit close to you here with my bushes, but I'm, I'm almost done. Kind of unsure if that's cute or ugly. And I also think that there's something about this front that's not good enough. Maybe I should get bigger windows. Uh, those are a lot more expensive. They're 130 each. It definitely looks nice from the interior. Oh, we have to get another window inside too because this looks really sad, but maybe that's okay. Maybe I could size these down again. Oh, oh yeah, smaller is better. They were too big before. You know what I wish I could use is the snowy escape windows. I wanna have like a slight in between. So this window is the sort of size I'm looking for. I am committed to making this just base game in the new pack. I think we can manage it. I don't actually know if you can hear the cats as much as I can. I assume that you can. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm, I'm not reacting enough to the kitten noises. I'm just, I'm so used to them running and like hearing the running that I don't really notice it as much. I do realize the loud footsteps might be more annoying to you as a person who doesn't have to listen to this every day. Oh my god, spoke too soon. Okay, well I wanted to put a little patio table outside because we don't have a lot going on out here. I'm not really sure what color to use. This color scheme is weird. I might end up deleting that. We'll see. Okay, I think the exterior is done though. Aside from terrain paint, I'm gonna leave it here. And now we have 2,000 simoleons left to finish the whole interior. So let's get started. Really prioritizing the kitchen, obviously. I'm not sure what color to use because first of all, that's ugly. <laughs> I don't like the red. There is this sort of like dusty pink color. It's like almost brown, but it also leans a little. They're shaking the camera. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it also leans a little bit pink. I might have to make the kittens leave the room. We, we can have a little bit more time, but they're, they're running out of time. I honestly think that's really pretty. I like it together with this. 185. This costs 185 simoleon. It's just a cookbook. Oh, wow. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. It's gonna be okay. Maybe the cookbook is all that I can have. We can have a cookbook and a waffle maker and that's it. I caught another kitten. You can't mess with my camera shrimp. I need it. I could probably make these little utensils fit in too. Those are only 75. You can tell that it's like a gourmet chef's kitchen, right? <laughs> you get the point? You can see it? We gotta switch these chairs out for something cuter because those look absolutely terrible. Maybe we could use these ones because I really do like these and they also come in like that nice light pink but maybe that's not good maybe we could try and match the wallpaper a little bit better because this wallpaper has kind of a terracotta color and some blues and grays and the pink is like a very slight accent what if I had a gray sofa I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let me see. This little rug fits really nicely. It totally doesn't match though. Okay, never mind. Maybe 
Um, maybe I could have a gray sofa and a gray rug. I don't know. I am clearly just experimenting here. I, I have not got a clue what I'm going for right now. We're gonna need a painting, but most of them are kind of expensive. This one has some blue and it also has some like yellowy colors. Oh, maybe the uh, try the blue. Try the blue. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> this is way worse than I thought it was gonna be. I guess I'll do some plain sort of gray colors in the bedroom too. This is the kind of situation where a rug is gonna help us because we can bring in some more color that way. Oh. <laughs> the color I brought in is beige. <laughs> this room is beige and gray. It's actually kind of like peaceful in there. It's not the worst thing in the world. The worst thing in the world is the fact that I have no pictures that work. All of the art is so expensive. I have to use debug. I'm wondering if maybe some of those art pieces that are like prints of the moon could work. They're kind of pretty and it does bring in some more color and it's also only 115. Let me look and see because it's possible that these could fit in. Maybe I could use that instead of this thing because that's way cheaper and it's also kind of cool. I might need to like add some more black accents in some places before this fits because the black frame is kind of throwing me off. But we could do that. We could have like a black thing here. There's the black utensils. That sort of makes sense. I guess this could be centered with the couch now. I was worried about having enough space to get into the door, but there's plenty of walking space. Oh, wait, what if we got a bookshelf? Maybe this base game wall bookshelf, because it's only 175 and then it puts some more interesting furniture on that wall. One thing I don't have inside is a trash can, but I think you can just use the outdoor trash can. I think they'll be fine. Maybe I could have some blue. Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm trying to bring in the blue on this a little bit more. Maybe it could be like that. With the blue rug, it sort of matches better. Of course, there's no base game curtains that'll work, so never mind. We can't even bother with that. I sometimes like to have desks in houses like this, but I don't think we're gonna have a desk. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to afford a computer. Maybe I'll buy some 50 simoleon toilet paper. And we could also get maybe like a fancier sink. Oh, maybe I could use a counter with a sink. That's significantly more expensive. That definitely like really increases the price in here. But it also looks a lot better. It looks more complete right? And maybe I can afford like one single towel. <laughs> oh my god, everything's so expensive. I have 32 simoleons left. I think the kitchen is really beautiful though. I'm happy with the kitchen. We have all the necessities. There's a trash can, there's a fake car. <laughs> Two sims can fit here. I guess the last thing is maybe if we wanted to switch the outside a little bit more. Oh, you know what might be an idea? What if we put some garden pots? Because this sim is supposed to be a chef, so I don't think it's that unrealistic that they would have some sort of garden on their back patio. We can do do all mismatched pots like that. I don't know, they can grow like some basil or something back here. That might be nice. We have this little hose wall decor item. 185! Oh my god. I'm sorry, 185 simoleons for a fake hose is ridiculous. I refuse. <laughs> I absolutely refuse. What else are you gonna put back there though? Nothing. You can't put anything. Fine. You can have the stupid hose, fine. I guess I don't really need to spend every last dime that we have. We can just spend most of the money. It's okay if we have 27 simoleons left. I guess I probably could get something. How about this little flower pot by the front door? I can size it up. That kind of matches the roof. Oh, maybe that ties it all together. And then I only have two simoleons left. Oh, okay. You know what? This didn't turn out so bad at all. I'm still unsure about the roof color. It's like the roof color with those plants that's kind of throwing me off. We could always do a lighter gray or something. The gray's probably better. But I just, I want to use this color so bad. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm keeping it. I like it. The house is good. 19,998 simoleons. And I'm gonna call it the Home Chef Hustle Starter on the gallery. It's one bedroom, one bathroom. This tiny starter home is fit for a chef. Hashtag Lil Susie. And then I'll put it up on the gallery. I'm proud of this one, I think. It's a little bit different than what I normally do. And I like the carport a lot. I think that's kind of a cool touch. And it's also only base game and the new pack. So hopefully it's easy for you all to download and use for your sims. Normally at the end of these, I like to do a little tour of the house, but there's not really that much to tour. We've got a kitchen, we've got a living room, we've got a table. <laughs> We've got a very small bedroom, a bathroom, and uh, that's pretty much it. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching. And thanks again to Samsung for sponsoring this video. Me and my sewer children are eternally grateful. <laughs> Come on, look at the camera. Show them how grateful you are. I have been loving using the 57 inch Odyssey Neo G9. So if you wanna check out this monitor for yourself, I'm gonna link it down below. Of course the kittens calm down as I'm wrapping up the video, right? Just typical timing. But anyway, thank you. You can read more about the monitor down below and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. They went to sleep after all of this, after all of the running, you ran the whole video and now you're asleep.